Hi guys and welcome back to another tour video. So today I'm joined by Cerulean Capuchin, the blue monkey. Uh, how's it going? Hello. Yeah, I'm good. So, the blue monkey himself has built, basically, Dwarven Helm's Deep. Uh, it does need a name though, he does need a name for the place. So if you guys do have any suggestions, whack them in the comments. Right, show me around. Okay, so uh, the top exterior terrain is only just getting started, but I built this bridge and thought it was really cool, so it was a good place to start. Fair dues. Um, the massive river that flowed through this area it was all carved out by hand because there was no river here originally, uh, so that was fun. And then, yeah, we've got uh, some Rohan Plains, forest. And then just starting some farmlands going on now, so it's, it's all good. various stages of completion. It's yeah. totally different than what it was before. That's the thing, which I quite like actually. Uh, the river, I'm really impressed with. I am really impressed with it. It does look pretty natural as well. So two streams meeting together. It's cool. Are you all the way down here? I'm over here. You just you're flying away. I'm by the bridge. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll stay over it. Actually, it's a shame it doesn't. I, you don't show up on my map. It's weird. Maybe, I guess I need a server version of the map to to actually do that. But right, so I know that you, you're working on the on the farm at the minute, so we won't go and visit the farmhouses. Yeah. Save that for another day. So as we walk along this road, it should all start popping into view. And like you said earlier, originally I wanted to try and build Helm's Deep or something similar to that. Yep. And you wanted Dwarven stuff in this area, so we now have Dwarven Helm's Deep. I did want Dwarven stuff, so there's a there's a big mountain cave uh, on the map. I was like, it's got to be Dwarven, it's got to be a big entrance. And you made a very big entrance. <laughs> you literally <laughs> yeah. put it on, on the space map. So, um, the wall, I really like. The Helm's Deep-ish wall. I really, really like it. It's very cool. Um... I'm guessing, what did you use to, to make the circle with it? Um, a world edit. Bit of world edit, okay. Yeah, just to make massive um, hollow circles and then deleted all the wall bits that I didn't need. Nice. It's cool. It's good. And also using the concrete as well. So I'm guessing, was that just you haven't used the text uh, kind of like material before? You wanted a darker grey in there? Yeah, so with. Um... Minas Tirith, I think in the books, might be, even though it's the White City, the first wall's actually black. So I yeah. thought that could be interesting to play with. Yeah, fair It just like, picks up all the stone because everything in this area is quite grey. So, yeah. Oh, you can get in underneath the gate as well. Bit of a security yeah. problem there. Can you, not, can you not put the iron bars in the water? Yeah, you can. Did you not notice that? You yeah, you can do nope. stairs and everything now. <laughs> Everything's changed, so you, you can, can do, do slabs and stairs. But slab stairs, fences as well. I don't, I don't know when they did it, but I, I remember being amazed at them actually doing it. <laughs> Just do a little bit, a little bit of uh, hiding it all now. But yeah, how mad is that? We've been, we've been asking for that for like what I don't know, five, six years. <laughs> Minecraft. Yeah, <laughs> they finally just do it randomly. Cool. So let's have a uh, look at these gates because these gates look good. Yeah, the, these uh, took me a while to do. But I'm quite happy with how they turned out. Mm, I like it. I really like the use of uh, polished basalt. That looks cool. Yeah. Is that more of like an iron type thing that you're thinking there? Uh, um. Heavy. Yeah. I think I was. Uh, I got this gate off a picture on Google pretty much and it was like silvery and dark iron and then the wood so I thought I'd try and replicate that. It's nice, it's good. Oh no. Wow you can go down. Okay. Oh oh yeah, I did the spur cases. Wow. It was a pain. <laughs> yeah it does look like a pain. But yeah. I, was, I was going exploring I was like alright let's see what let's see what's around. Oh, this looks cool. It's good. Okay. So this will be the entrance to a big city eventually. 
Yep. And the people who start screaming in the comments saying dwarven people don't build. I I think they, I think they would. Food wise, it makes a lot of sense. I think they'd be. Uh, yeah. Because otherwise, you can't just trade for all your food. You've got to have, be self-sufficient a little bit, even if um, the majority of dwarves leave, live within caves and things like that. It just doesn't make it's make much sense. Right, so we're now on uh, the Great Walkway. What would you, what would you call it? Uh, the Causeway. The Causeway. Yeah, let's call it the Causeway. Deliberately uh, closed off areas in this build, so you have to go exploring and other directions to get to where you want to go. Cool. Um, so, as you'll see, like the gate to get onto the, the wall here, um, you can just use iron bars to block that off, basically. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Well, I like uh, I'll, I'll let you take the lead and oh, God. Sort of explain wherever you go to. <laughs> right, so let's do... Yeah, I'm gonna go up. I'm gonna go up onto the going up. Let's make our way up. Okay. Up one of so, these towers. These towers aren't really uh, much to see. It's just a basic tower. I don't even think there's anything at the very tops. Obviously, this is the top of the wall. Yep. A little murder holes here. Yep. They work. So you got your. Is that a custom painting? That one? Yeah, that's custom painting. So there is a texture pack that we're using at the minute, which I'm meant to use on birds. Birds tour as well. Um, so there's a couple of paintings that have been changed. It's a shame you can't do um, invisible backgrounds, isn't it? Oh, do you not have the... In Mine's invisible. Yours is invisible. Mine's not. So mine's, yeah. mine's brown background. Yeah, there's a, a mod, ah, I think. Okay. I need to send you, and it'll have invisible backgrounds. That's going to ah. be a bit interesting. Yeah, it's brown. <laughs> it's, it's, it's interesting. You can still tell what it is, though. Right, so is there any point going that way? Uh, not really. Nope. Not much on the wall or anything over there. On the wall. So let's go over here then. Let's go down, down a little. St <laughs> bit of a bit of a drop, mate. <laughs> okay, so you got <laughs> so you got a crane. Okay, that's fine. Oh, it's a wheel on the side of the crane, right? Yeah. I was I was thinking, oh, um, it's going to be a handrail, and because I could see the wood, <laughs> I was thinking, oh, there's stairs. <laughs> so I just dropped right off. Oh, brilliant. Ah. Yeah, so I've used the oak trapdoor to represent a wheel throughout the build because that's where it used to be in Conquest and yeah, just stick with it. <laughs> yeah, I know, it works. And then, right, this big thing. Oh yeah. The Dwarven big. Apolt. Yeah, this this took me a while to go through. Lots of uh, destroying and bringing it back. I like it. It's good. You can you can imagine a load of people pushing on it to try and roll it and everything, so it's it's good. Yeah, one of the things I really like is the uh, the grindstone. Ah, oh, it's great. It's a great block. I really love that block. It's brilliant for so much stuff. It really is. Yeah. And we have got lots of uh, compost bins around. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm trying to think of a way to represent barrels of arrows. Fair dues. Just right. the best I can come up with. Well, it kind of works. I see for that, or it's, it is compost and they just throw that on enemies, I don't know. Why not? <laughs> yeah. If it stinks, it's probably... Yeah, probably going to do... <laughs> probably going to put people off. Right, shall we go into this building? Is this a good way in? Yep. All right. Yeah. This is um, sort of like the main barracks area. So this fort um, originally was built as a protection from like the main city, because he got attacked. Um, but over the years, the pieces fell over the lands and stuff, and it's not become as militarized. So only half of it now is actually occupied by the military, yeah, and then is. the other half is taken over by merchants, and it's a big trading hub. So this part is actually still the military side. Oh, cool. Okay. Right then. Let's go. So this is just general. Uh, chambers, all your sort of bedrooms, lots of quarters. Nice. Each room is furnished, but they're all pretty much identical. <laughs> yeah, that's still good though. Definitely didn't just as well that it's a copy and paste of all, all the interiors. Ah, <laughs> oh, no, you didn't, did you? <laughs> These ones do look a little bit copy and pasty. 
Yeah, I don't like doing yeah. interiors. <laughs> no, I know. It's I, it's more difficult and easier in vanilla. It's a bit of a mix. Yeah. So, ooh, it's less detail, oh. but then it's harder to get the detail. Yeah, exactly. Right, cool. So I was closing the doors so that if anyone else wants to go and visit, <laughs> they have to... They can't just walk in. So, um, eating area? Drink, well, yeah, drinking just, drinking area at least at the minute, but... Yeah, just lots of stuff around. Yep. Um, and then we've got... You can either go upstairs, downstairs, or to the left. Let's go upstairs. Okay, so... Upstairs. And you have my dog barking. Yeah. <laughs> That's fine. <laughs> um, this is like a little prison. And a little fun fact, this was actually one of the first interiors I actually built. Ever. No, not well, ever. But on so this build. On this build, yeah. They work. I like what you've done with the iron bars. Wait, have I just heard a Minecraft dog bark? No. I could hear my dog barking. And then... I have just heard a Minecraft dog. It's yeah, weird. Unless it's, unless it's somewhere else. I don't know. Who knows? Cool. I like it. A little jail. So... Continue on up. Carry on going up. Um, it just comes out to another part, and this build is quite, quite all over the place and a bit of a maze, really. Um, yeah. Come back out here. Of you can see where the catapult is and where we've come from. Yep. And then if we continue on with the military part, we just drop down on this staircase here. Yep. This uh, will take us back into the little mess hall where we just work. Aha, okay. Oh, so in here we've got sort of like a an officer's quarters. Mm -hmm. uh, it's nice. quite a little bit nicer. It's got a little room here and then wow. a room at the end. That's quite big. It's like really big. Yeah. Um, and then this corridor basically just goes around to where we just were. Yep. Yeah. Not sure whether to put anything in these corridors or not because I thought we'd be kept but then it does look a bit boring, so I was like, <laughs> you sure? It's, it's fine. Find that balance. So we go down, and again, corridors are a bit empty, but there you go. And this is the, um, well, the section to said where it's blocked off. Ah, so cool. Find another way around. I like that, though. That's quite good. So, this way goes into the kitchens. So we've got the kitchens on one side and right. the, the great hall on the other. Right, let's check these out. Oh, big, massive fireplace. Is that, yeah. does that, no, it doesn't go up. Uh, yeah, marking down on that. Yeah. <laughs> I like these to blackstone though. It, it works against the rest of the stone. So I think if you just had um, stone bricks and stuff, it just wouldn't look quite right. Yeah. So it's nice. In here, then at storage and room. This, this interior as well was uh, one of the earlier ones that I've done. And just looking around, I can see the difference between this and then what I've been doing recently. So it's taken me months doing this build. Yeah, I'm not surprised. It's huge, though. It's huge. Yeah. Right. Should we go into the feast hall? Yeah. Oh, nice candles. So we have a. That's a good design. Oh, I what? saw that somewhere. I'm not sure where. Ah, and also, I did not know that you could just put the meat on the campfire when it's out. I did not know you could do that. Yeah. Huh, okay. Very good. And my favourite room. Well, why? Uh, God, it's really dark. You probably can't see anything in I there. I can't but... see a single thing that we get a torch. <laughs> there you go, that's better. Uh, it's just storage. Yeah. <laughs> but I just thought you don't really see like this often in builds so no i did one in clipped off which didn't really make a lot of sense because i put in like tables and chairs but it was down a, a staircase like a spiral staircase and i was like getting <laughs> getting stuff out of that it's gonna be so difficult <laughs> if not impossible um yeah. yeah so no that's good that is that is absolutely good because then they can just clear stuff out as well if they want to i don't know do dwarven dancing who knows <laughs> you know <laughs> Good, I'd pay to see that. Yep, <laughs> be good. I like it. Nice big fireplaces. Multiples in the in the room as well because it is a big room to warm up. Yep. 
Do they do they have chimneys? Oh no. Yeah, no. Yeah. Marking down on Dwarves realism. Magic. <laughs> dwarves are that's yeah, true actually, yeah. I mean you don't see it with dwarves, do you? Do you? They'd have like loads of fires around, but actually there isn't a single chimney coming out of that gigantic mountain. Yeah. <laughs> so cool. And you got a little Annabelle. Very good. But I can't ring tiny it. Tiny little storage room there, but that is tiny. Then, as we come round this corner now, we get into the forge. Cool. Oh, so, this was really cool because it's on a, a circle. Yeah. The ceiling was really fun to do. Yep. I like it though, it looks really good. Yeah, I really like how it's turned out in the end. Oh uh, yeah, of course. So I was just looking at that block and I was thinking, oh yeah, yeah, a little globe and paper or something. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yes, the uh, card topography table, but it just like fit perfectly. Yeah, I just, I've just ignored it completely. Um, there's a block, <laughs> so, so it's good. It's good to see it being used. Yeah. I can't go that way, right? There we go, and then the forge. Nice bellows. There seems to be like every different way to do bellows on this server. We're trying to figure it out. Which is good though, because every single one has a different style. Yeah. It's cool. Wicked. Did have the um, little glitch with the helmet on the side, but I don't know where that's gone. It seems to have disappeared. I like the arm stand through the uh, okay. wall. It's gone. It seems to have disappeared. <laughs> Fair days. You got your quench over there. Cool. Cool. Looks good. Now what's through that way then? And um, back out here. This is Ooh. where you you fell off the walls before. Oh weird. Did not know we were under that bit. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that makes sense why it's circular now as well. Okay. Yeah, I did not expect us to come out there. I was thinking we we're gonna come out like under here or something. That's good. Like I say, it's big maze. There's about <laughs> five different ways to get into that main barracks area. So. Yeah. It's good. Um, and something that you'll be interested in if we go this way. If we go down. Oh, uh, yes. The system itself. Focus. Yeah. Ooh. I thought that was going to be the first thing you asked me going. Oh, yeah, yeah. How does this work? <laughs> How does it work? Absolutely. Cool. So it gets pulled down instead. That's different. It's cool. It's really cool. Because you can imagine dwarves being a little bit more ingenious with the kind of stuff, wouldn't you? And doing and the things. bonuses as well. If anybody gets through and the door shut, you can just <laughs> impale them as the gate goes up. Yep, that's true. Cool. And so, um, it makes sense to go underground next. Um, you'll get like a grand reveal. Cool. So this is sort of a stables. And um, as this was was a military, it's quite a large stables. Mm. For those dwarves riding on their, what was it, a boar? <laughs> what was it in, in the <laughs> last Hobbit movie? And um, we've got quite a few cart designs, because like I said, now it's um, been taken over by merchants. Yep. So you come out here. Not bad. Looking good. And Anytime you see an old trap door, just imagine it's a wheel. Yep. <laughs> That's quite nice, and though. As... It's good, good to have a load of different designs. Like, there is, like, different merchants coming. It's good. And this is that gate from the barracks. Yeah. But we couldn't get through earlier. Like, nice little statue behind you. Mm. Yeah, it's good. And prefer, even though we're not going through the front gates, I prefer the reveal of the marketplace coming up through here. Yeah? Okay. As you come up. Da, da, da. Feels more grander and open. Awesome. Well, there are four different rooms with different market stalls in. Cool. Um, and yeah, I'll just let you explore and peruse the markets. What's what's this way though? Yeah, oh, that's just another entrance, I guess. Yeah, this is just like the front gate. Aha! Right. Okay. Cool. Just trying to figure out where everything is. It's quite it is quite difficult with this build because it's like um it's a lot of corridors going a lot of different ways. Right, so we've got a uh, kind of like a, a pub, so I had to grab some drinks. Woodworker? 
yeah. Yeah. All sorts of trap door maker stuff going on. Yep, it's good. Ah, uh, fruit and veg. Oh. Yeah, lovely. Need some apples, mate. <laughs> you know, that's what I can imagine. That's good. Oh, you should be in these standards. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that's that's all I think whenever I think fruit stand. Uh, got some nice rugs and uh, materials, textiles, that kind of stuff. Crate and stuff maker. Yeah, just storage. Storagey maker, yeah. Fair dues. It's really weird. I, I can't stop walking through these. <laughs> <laughs> cool. Right. Which way is the best way to go? Is it up or is it? Um, if you go up, the only way back down is a staircase again. Oh, okay. You could go up. Yeah, let's, let's see what you made around here. Are we going to find any blank rooms, do you think? Or do you think you got them all? Uh, should have had them all. Ah, cool. So that's into the. Oh, I like the I like the banners. Is that in this, yeah. in this room as well? No. But you have got the lanterns, which I didn't even notice. <laughs> the things they look good too. That's cool. And using my um, world edit tricks. I know. The banners to hang like that. It's good. I see more stalls. There's loads going around, isn't there? Yeah. God. Oh, right. And okay. So let's. Let's make our way through all of these. Little easel. I'm really, really happy with this design. <laughs> yeah, it's not bad. Not bad at all. It's good. We've got well, paintings, man. Mister Paintings. <laughs> I thought I'll leave all the naming of the stalls for you. <laughs> ah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to get pun names. That's the thing. <laughs> We've got to do it. So I got some uh, armor, but like leather, leather type stuff. So just general clothing. Uh, Fletcher. Well, it's more arrow maker, but I'd say Fletcher probably. Some sort of jeweler. A string iron chains man. <laughs> I don't know what, which, what is this one. String. All sort of like uh, hanger stuff. So you got like fence gate, uh, okay. trap doors. It's like. Fetties. Just wall decoration. Yeah, well, that works. Um, got a bong. I guess that one. <laughs> Soup. Okay, cool. Some uh, what are called saddles and leads and all that kind of stuff. Got some bottles. Good. Okay. You're gonna have to help me with this one. <laughs> You've got uh, a totem, a rabbit's foot, and some crystals. Ah, okay. Great, yeah. A good luck, charmy. Yep. Stall people. Fair days. Wicked. It'd be nice. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Right. Where does this go then? This is basically like old storage rooms and servants' quarters that have now been turned into. Um, places for the merchants to stay, like overnight yeah. and stuff. That is a really nice view as well. Yeah. Well, wow. cool. Because you know I'm going to explore everything. There's no way you can get yeah. out of. Uh... Well, everything's fully yeah. interior. <laughs> I've good. already had bird do like three walkthroughs. <laughs> Just to check, yeah. Even though we got lost. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Right, okay, so what else is down here? So these are all just, well, quite big rooms, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely yeah, not, definitely not copy and pasted. <laughs> well, to be fair, you know. You might do it like that. Right, so that's all of that stuff. Right, so let's go down, down these stairs. I'm going to go this way, actually. Just notice this. I'm not trying to hit, put the lights down. Just notice this little door here. Yeah, it's nothing out there, just a little small balcony. Yep, it's a good thing. Go out well there in a minute. Oh, this is so weird. This little bit of uh, bit of ground, though. What you're on about? It's just ground. It's just odd. <laughs> just the hole. It's just a hole. It's odd. Dig. Oh yeah, yeah, it's, it's, fine. Can play yeah it's fine. It's fine now. <laughs> Random hole. Right. Okay. So let's get down into the second level. I like the designs you've done as well on the walls. They look good. Yeah. So that 
symbol there is basically like the symbol of these dwarves. Yep. Um, that's why the Prismarine is like all over the place. That's sort of like the colour. Nice. That's yeah. good. Nice picture here. Don't know where that is from, but it looks great. Don't know who built that? Amazing. It was very hard trying to get that picture. Yeah. Like hovering above the water. It's good. It's really good. Right, so this room in here then. And also that as well. Very nice place. Hamburg. Yeah. yeah, it's good. Right, stools in here then. Wow, this is filled out since the last time I came in here. <laughs> it's looking good. Pots and pans and bits and bobs and all that kind of cutlery Utilities. stuff. Utility stuff, yep. Flowers, nice. Very nice little flower shop. Uh, baked goods, some cookies. Actually, I had some delivered today. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm not joking, I really did have some cookies delivered today. Because uh, um, cause of the whole lockdown thing, it's gone mad so um it's like oh we can actually get some get some delivered we'll, we'll get it off that person that we used to go into the town center and do it because they're now doing home deliveries so yeah cookies really good um so right what are we sat and watching well i was thinking like the stage could be like a good like auction type place ah. but it didn't really make sense to have animals in here then i just put this little cage in maybe there's sleeves in there or something i don't know <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it makes sense though. I like that. That makes sense now with the lectern as well. Yeah. It's good. That's cool. Right. Um, I don't want to miss this room. What's this? Oh, kitchens. Yeah. I'm guessing this... the kitchen. So this is now like fish and meat. I'm guessing this goes on a little bit more, or is this? Uh... Wait, is this where we came from? This is this is yeah. where we came from. Yeah, the entrance. Yeah. Right. Cool. All linked up. So yeah, kitchens. I like your sausages. Very, very good. It's not bad at all. It's all looking good. So yeah, meats, fishes, all that kind of stuff. I don't know what that is. That's the coral block. That looks really quite bizarre, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, I was trying to get something that looked like a like ham or pork. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I can kind of see it now. Yeah. It's because I haven't seen it before, so I'm just like, that's really, really pink, but but actually, it's nice to have a bit of variation. Definitely. It's weird as well. Is every now and then one of these chests you're looking will actually have stuff in it. Because oh, I started okay. doing it, but then gave up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's fair to use. Chest though. That's looking good. So was this since you got the fireplace here? Uh, old kitchens or something? Yeah. So like this room we've just come from would have been sort of like the main round hall. Cool. And this would have been like the, the kitchens. Yeah, fair dues. Right, let's continue on to the stools. So, oh, this looks amazing. Yeah, candle with care. I don't know. I don't know who would build this masterpiece. That's right there. I know it does. I'm the only one that put the, the signs up. Why did no one else put signs up? Or have they? Else built one. Yeah. <laughs> I, I built all these myself. Oh, did you? Oh, okay, fair dues. Yeah. Yeah, this candle making is incredible. It's like I've, I've stolen it all from Trilliton because he just did it in Conquest. So I've just tried a, a mock <laughs> mock version of it. It just doesn't work as well. But yeah, nice candle maker there. Uh, we've got a nice little little bar. I like these uh, stands that you've made as well. They're good. Again, trying to think of like what we used to do in Conquest and try and make it into mm, uh, default. Another jeweler. Cool. We've got oh nice big cart. What was in that cart? Then just some stuff. So there's so he's unpacking the things. Um, more storagey type things, baskets and all that jazz. Baskets and wheels. Baskets and wheels. <laughs> what a combo! Oh, chuck those are wheels. <laughs> yep. What a combo! Wow. So what have we got? Yeah, we've done all that now. Cool. Right. So where does this go? Well, this comes out onto what would have been a gardens, and I was going back and forth between having more market stalls out here, but I thought I've got plenty. Yeah, you run out of ideas um, after a little while, and you just go, uh, do I just repeat them? I guess I do. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But eventually this will be a nice view over the city. Um, I'm yep. toying with the idea of turning this into a staircase as well. Oh, okay. Obviously. Yeah. Um, in which case I might end up having more stalls. And then this is a dwarven temple. Ah. 
I don't know what religion they are yet. Oh. The Grand the Beard. Deities are. The Grand Bearded One. Yeah. That's good. This was a... Yeah, there are barrier blocks. I was just, I was just thinking, upstairs, something's going on. Yeah, I was thinking... What? Why can't I run over them? Okay. Yeah, I like this. I like this statue. This is nice and simple. It works really well. It's good. Great Dwarven God. Or Gods. And... There's nothing up here. Nah, that's fine. Apart from nice views. What I really like, um, you might not be able to see it with your render distance, is when you stood in front of the lectern and looking out that window. Right. Um, there you are. Yep. There is the giant tower that I made originally. Ah, okay. Like the Dwarven entrance. I can just because um, that is going to be like a pilgrimage site, sort of built into the lock. Uh -huh. So when they were attacked, the top of the tower was burning, and it just didn't stop burning. So it's sort of like an eternal flame type thing. Noise, cool. Yeah, I can just about see it from outside. Um, it's just on far distance because I've got my render distance down just a little bit to make it run faster. Sixteen as well. I think. Usually I'm on thirty-two. <laughs> It's, it does lag a bit, but it looks great. <laughs> oh, I actually forgot one small part. Um, if you want to yep. fly back over to the main gate. There you are. So we'll drop down on this little part here. Mm -hmm. And as we go up, there's a little dirt path up through the mountains. And oh. So what's... Oh, this is... Oh, yeah. This is, I'm, I'm starting to get used to it now. It's taken a little while, but I'm getting used to it now. I'm just like, oh yeah, no, 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 now I remember where that, that comes out. I still think you can get lost quite easily. Yeah. But that's good. I like the little dirt path. I wonder where this goes to. It's good though. Quite a bit of a journey. Just gonna jump oh yeah, like this, is, this is maybe halfway now. Yeah. I get to a tower. Hey, look at the interior, all good. Very small, small defense. Yeah, but works. Wondering what you can see from over here. There you go. Looks good. And uh, bird helped me out the, the bridge in this path a little bit. Oh wow, it's like proper broken, isn't it? It's good. Yeah. Crumbly the idea is this path isn't isn't used often. This is the part that Bird did. Wow. It's really cool. Yeah, I was gonna say it. The only thing is, it looks um so detailed that the rest of the mountain now needs to be detailed in the same way. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Because of the slabs and stairs there in it, yeah. it looks like really good. <laughs> wow. Okay. Is... Yeah, you've got your far end distance on, so. Probably from this height, I can. you'll be able to see your dwarven building. I know. Dawnbarim's over there. Wow. Okay. That's where this path takes you to. I know. It's all good. It's all starting to join up together now, which means actually this now joins up with um, with all the bird stuff. Yeah. Which is quite cool. Oh, wow. Okay. So, I've just gone around to the other side, I'm guessing. Oh, well, I would not go this way. No? Why not? <laughs> it's got a massive... Bird built, built a path. And I've tried following it three times and never made it to the uh, end. Yeah, he's got a very special way of doing it. So... Hmm, okay, I think it's over this... Yeah, then around there. Yep, yep, I'm not getting lost yet. Because here's are like proper hidden paths. They're great because it doesn't affect the, um... The look of the mountains or anything like that. There we go, there it is. Right. <laughs> But you do get like stuck. You think, uh, I'm lost. Wow. Okay, I can just about see it going around there, and then oh, little bridge see there. Little, see little bridges every now and yeah. then. That's how I know we're yeah, that's why we're in the right place. Yeah, it's mad. Is it mad? And bits of wood over the water. A little bit of a stream. This goes down as well. It's all good. Right. Is there, anyway, we've got a bit sidetracked. Um. Is there anything we've missed? Or have we seen it all? Uh, I think that pretty much is everything. Cool. 
It's all looking really good. I love it. Just need to, you know, build the city behind it, do the entire dwarven inside cave city now. Um, yeah. <laughs> you know, just minor things I mean, like that. I suppose you could show them the, uh, the entrance. Oh, what, to, to this? No, we'll save that for another day, I think. Yeah, we'll save that for another day because, you know, you'll have to show I'll that off. Yet, anyway. It's not quite finished. I'll give a sneak peek of it. The tower I really like, even though I know you totally stole it off of Bird's Elven Tower and edited it. But I think you've tweaked it quite a lot now, actually. It looks quite different. Yeah. So. Well, again, I built that into the law. So the two towers were built when the uh, the elves and dwarves were in a time of peace because they uh, helped. Dwarves helped the elves take over the land. Fair deal. Then deep. when the humans of Lordport landed and started uh. taking over, the elves wanted the dwarves' help and they refused. So the elves attacked the dwarves and that's why the fall was built. Fair deal. Sounds good. All really yeah. good. Right, well, thank you for showing me around, man. It's good. No worries. Fucking awesome. And um, yeah, guys, if you uh, have liked this video, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next one.